I've been watching the numbers, guys. I've been watching. You guys are rocking your business. So thank you. It's the Grand Array event, and my job is to amp you guys up so we can grow this business even more. Who's up for that? So let me tell you guys, I see a lot of young people in the room. They told me when I started my business at 22 years old that I'd never make this thing work. Were they right? Can young people build this business? Is this the right business? Are you guys in the right market? Is this the right company? I'm telling you, I feel it, baby. I feel it. Let me tell you guys my story. I want to rewind a little bit for you guys. Let me rewind just a little bit. I want you guys to hear my story. My story starts with my mom. See that beautiful woman? My mom, honestly, when she began, back in 2002, my grandfather passed away. And after my grandfather passed away, my mom started dealing with a, a variety of different issues, but one was depression. So the doctors put her on a couple of different medications. Before we knew it, over the course of a couple of years, she was on more and more medications. And eventually, she just kind of felt like giving up. In fact, she was a fifth grade teacher, and she ended up losing her job because they didn't feel that she was fit to teach anymore. So you can imagine how bad it got for my mom. Well then, an individual came into our life, this man right here, Dr. Steve Herschek. And Dr. Steve Herschek told my mom that if she would start using USANA supplements, he really believed with all of his heart that these supplements would help her. So she started on USANA. After about six months of being on USANA, the results were undeniable, and my mom decided that she was going to stop using some of the medications. Six months later, she was off eight of the nine medications that she was on, and she attributed that to USANA. Now, at the time, I was pretty young, I was feeling pretty fit, I was pretty excited with where my health was at, so my mom said, Jordan, you need to start using USANA products. Now, I don't know about you young people in the room, but I thought she was crazy. And I remember being really resistant and telling her, this isn't for me. And I was on my way to medical school. I was working really hard. And then she told me that this doctor, Dr. Herschek, was trying to get out of medicine and I was trying to get into medicine. So she said, Jordan, you need to talk to Dr. Herschek. So I remember very reluctantly saying, okay, I'll listen to what this guy has to say. And I met with Dr. Herschek, and the first thing he told me was he said, Jordan, these products are unbelievable, the business is unbelievable, but more than anything, the reason that I'm doing USANA is because I want to spend more time with my kids. He told me that being a medical doctor took him away from family. It took him away from the opportunities that he wanted to spend time doing the things like traveling with his kids. So here I am trying to get into medicine, he's trying to get out, and I said, you know what, i got to listen to this guy. So I decided to, to, to listen to Dr. Herschek. Remember this, find somebody who has what you want and do what they do. So you guys can see these pictures. That's a picture of me. I was 24 years old when I became a gold director and look who's with me, Dr. Herschek. A few years later, I became a diamond director. Look who's with me, Dr. Herschek. And then I reached the million dollar club and who was with me? Dr. Herschek, and he gave me, he gave me these four Starbucks gift cards. You guys can see in the photos those gift cards. When I initially sat down with Dr. Herschek, we met at Starbucks. So when I reached the million dollar club, he gave me four Starbucks gift cards. He said, Jordan, go teach four people to make a million dollars in USANA. So I decided that's what I was gonna do. Now, I'll be real honest with you guys. USANA did not get off to a quick start for me. It was a very, very slow start. How many of you guys felt like that a little bit? 
a lot of people, they talk about reaching these marks and hitting these goals and reaching gold and ruby and emerald and they do it in such a short period of time. That wasn't my story. And I'll never forget a diamond director in my area that was cross-lined to me. His name was Dean Shodas. He said, Jordan, he said, don't chase titles. If you build a solid business, the titles will come. I'm up. So I knew in my heart, I knew with all my heart that I was with the right company, that I was doing the right thing. But to make matters worse, my friends made fun of me. I played American football. And when I played American football, I had 100 teammates. I used to come into the locker room and there'd be signs on my locker and there'd be signs on the board and people would be making fun of me and they'd be drawing pyramids and acting like I was building some sort of pyramid. They'd come in and they'd make fun of me. They'd tell me that I was building some silly vitamin company. And then my professors in school, they said, you're not going to go to medical school? You're going to build a vitamin company? Are you serious? So friends and family and teammates and all sorts of people ridiculed me for my decision to do USANA. But I'll tell you what, I didn't care what they thought. I knew what I had. I want to be real vulnerable with you guys. If you guys look at these numbers, these are my actual numbers when I started my business. Literally, you can see that in my first six months, I only made $860 in USANA. Now it cost me more than $900 to get started. I paid for my auto order every month, which meant that I was losing money at the end of my first six months. So not only was it a slow start, my friends were making fun of me and I was losing money. From a business standpoint, would you say that's successful? I wouldn't either. But in my heart, I knew that I had a product and I, had a, I knew I had an opportunity that one day would come. I knew that if I just kept going, it would work. So if you guys look, the last 10 paychecks was $123,000. That's a little bit better. Now, Robert Kiyosaki, if you haven't read his work, you need to read his book, Business of the 21st Century. In his book, he says you have to give network marketing a chance. You need to choose one company and stay with them for five years. All these people, all these people jumping around from company to company and trying to do two companies at once, it doesn't work. It's like trying to be married to two women at once. You stay with one company and you pay your dues for five years. So at the end of my first 18 months with USANA, I was in Dr. Hershchek's room. I remember I was sitting at his kitchen table and I remember crying, telling him that this thing didn't work. I felt like for every 10 people that joined, 10 people quit. I felt like this thing just wasn't working. And then to add to that, to add to that, you young people know this, I was young, I was 22, so I was trying to build my business with young people, and they were all broke. So all of them couldn't afford it, or so they would say. So I remember literally being in tears, talking to Dr. Hershchek, and feeling like I'd made the wrong decision. And this is what he said to me, he said, Jordan, successful people often fail, but they never quit. I said, you know what? I'm going to stick this thing out. You can count on me, Dr. Hershchek. He said, Jordan, if you were to go to medical school, you'd spend four years in medical school, right? So he said, if you were one and a half years in a medical school and you hadn't made any money, would you be disappointed? Of course not. So he said, you've been one year and a half into USANA. Why are you so disappointed? You haven't even started yet.
So he said, Jordan, until you've been in this four years, you don't even have the skills that are necessary to build this business. So you need to shift your mindset and stop thinking that this is a lottery and start working on your skills so that you can help other people and build a business. So I've been in USANA seven and a half years. Seven and a half years. I just turned 30 years old a couple of weeks ago. Now, I want to teach you guys four lessons that I've learned in my journey. Number one, follow your heart. I don't want you to listen to other people. I want you to listen to your heart. I want you to follow your passions. I want you to know in your heart what you're doing and whether you're making a difference in other people's lives. And maybe your passion is photography. Maybe your passion is sports. Maybe it's nutrition. Maybe it's serving others. I don't know what your passion is. Maybe you want to be full-time in USANA, or maybe you want to be part-time in USANA, and you want USANA to help you be better at photography. I don't know what your passion is. But I'll tell you right now, if you wake up every single day and you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. Yes! I was in this situation myself. I'm 22 years old, I'm graduating from university, and I don't know what to do. You know, I have this one option of playing professional football that might happen. I was acting at the time and doing some movies and commercial work in Chicago, but that was on and off. And then I thought, maybe USANA can work, or maybe the safest option is just go to medical school. I had all these options, and maybe you young people in the room feel a little bit like this. You know, you got your foot in one camp, and, and, and you don't want to lift it up, and then you got your foot in another camp, and you're trying these different options, but you feel like if you say no to one, you, you, you're going to lose out on an opportunity. So I thought, maybe I'll catch my break in football, or maybe I'll catch my, act, my, my, my break in, in acting. So I don't want to say no to anything. And before I knew it, I wasn't doing anything well. I was doing a lot of things half-hearted, and I wasn't seeing success. So I remember, Dr. Hershey gave me a little bit more vision, a little bit more direction, and he said, Jordan, I want you to plant your flag, I want you to decide what you're gonna commit to, and I want you to focus on just doing one thing and doing it well. And so I chose to focus on USANA. I followed my heart and I followed my passion. And because I chose to do USANA, look what's happened. How many of you like to travel? If you look at these pictures, this is all thanks to USANA. There's a picture in Florida, there's a picture of skiing up in Salt Lake City. My favorite thing in the world to do is fishing. There's a picture right there in Sydney. That's a picture in Vancouver. I got a chance to travel to London and speak in London. I got a chance to go to Cabo, Mexico. There's fishing in Wisconsin. And then there's a beautiful blonde girl there in the bottom right. That was last week in Sydney. To me, travel came because of my decision to build my business. You add to that, how many of you like speaking? I never saw myself growing up becoming a speaker. But last year, I spoke in 30 different cities to more than 100,000 people. And those numbers might be impressive, but you want to know really what it is? What inspires me is the opportunity to influence people. Sharing my story, telling people what I've been able to accomplish through USANA and my failures and my journey. All of the hard times, all of the good times have combined to make me the person that I am today. So at the end of the day, for me, it's about influencing people. Number two, commit to personal development. You need to spend 15 minutes a day, no less, in personal development. I don't care if you're reading or listening to CDs or watching DVDs, you need to be spending time working on yourself every single day. Your mind is a muscle. If you don't work that muscle, it will atrophy, it will die. You have got to spend time working your muscles every day, and I mean your emotional muscles. Every single day I committed to personal development. I have been in Manila traffic. You guys have plenty of time to listen to CDs in the car. <laughs> and I always tell my team that I will never ask them to do something I won't do myself. So you need to be the example. You need to show them. You need to be on time. 
You need to go to convention. You need to read the books. You need to listen to the CDs. If you don't do it, they're not going to do it. So you show them. Now, I also know there's a lot of guys in the room. How many of you guys would like to have bigger muscles? How many of you ladies in the room want your man to have bigger muscles? How many of you want them to have bigger paychecks? The reality is, if you want better results in any area of your life, you've got to change the variables. You have to change the variables. So for me, my football coach when I was in college told me that I need to be a man of routine. Be a man of routine. So every single day when I wake up, the first thing I do when I'm at home, I drink a tall glass of water. I squeeze lemon and cayenne pepper into it. And then I go and I jump on a trampoline. You might think I'm crazy, but I jump on a trampoline for five to seven minutes every morning. And then after I've done that, the next thing I do is I grab my Bible. And I read that Bible for no less than 15 minutes. And I say, Lord, I need your word. Sometimes from there, I'll move over and I'll start reading some other personal development material. And then guess what I do? I go to the gym. I'll tell you right now, I go to the gym and I work out. Now, I don't care if you like working out in the gym or if you like biking or if you like running or swimming, but you need to choose something because your body needs to be in motion. And I'll tell you, consistency needs to be in three areas of your life. You need to spend personal development working out the physical body, the mental body, and the spiritual body. And there needs to be a balance of all three. Every single day, I spend time working on myself so that I can give to others. If I'm not where I need to be, I can't help the people around me. So make sure you spend time committed to personal development every single day. Be a person of routine. Abraham Lincoln, very famous president of the United States, he said, if I had eight hours to chop down a tree, I would spend six hours sharpening my ax. What does that mean? That means a lot of you are out there and you're swinging and you're trying to chop down that tree, but you got a dull ax. If you spend more time sharpening your ax, you'll get better results. So stop swinging so hard with a dull ax and start sharpening it with personal development. Yes! Your third lesson is this. Who you are matters most. You know, a lot of people, they come to me and they say, Jordan, can you give me some tips? Can you teach me how to build my business? Show me how to invite. Show me how to present. Show me how to follow up and close. Show me how to build online. Show me how to be a better presenter. Are all those things important? Absolutely. But at the end of the day, what are people buying? You. People are buying you. 85% of people join USANA because of who their sponsor is. So I'm going to challenge you here for a minute. If I walked into this room and I had never done USANA before, and I looked around and I was trying to find somebody to work with, would I pick you? Who are you on Friday nights when nobody's watching? Who are you on Instagram? Who are you on Facebook? What are the things that you're saying when nobody's watching? That's who you are. And people are evaluating, are you someone I want to follow? You can learn all the skills in the world, but if you're not somebody I want to work with, then I'm not going to follow you. So you need to spend more time working on yourself. And as you work on yourself, others will follow. People are buying you. Now, some of you might be saying, well, I'm not the person I'm supposed to be. I want to share with you guys a fun story. You see this picture? This is my older brother. How many of you have a sibling, a brother or a sister that is opposite of you? Yeah, that's my story. My older brother, Khan, really struggled in school. In the fourth grade, he received a 70, that's a D, on his report card. Now, wait a second, you're saying, who gets a D in the fourth grade? Who scores that poorly? All the way through high school, Khan struggled. And then when Khan got to, to, to graduate from high school, he went to what we call community college. You guys know community college? 
We call it community college because anyone in the community can get in. Now Khan is supposed to go to community college for how, how long? Two years. Khan spent five years in community college and still didn't graduate. Khan struggled and struggled and struggled and to make matters worse, Khan became an alcoholic. Khan really struggled. He put on about 45 extra pounds and he put himself $30,000 in credit card debt. Is Khan the type of person you would want to work with in USANA? No. He's not at all. But Khan, April 11, 2009, made some radical life changes. And one big change that he made was he decided he was going to become sober. And so he gave up alcohol. And because of some spiritual transformation, Khan really started to make some changes in his life. He came to me and he said, Jordan, I want you to teach me to build a USANA business. I about cried. Now wait a second. I love my brother, but he was the worst candidate for USANA. <laughs> but he comes to me, he comes to convention, and he says to me, Jordan, I'm going to grow my business, I'm going to become a Ruby director, and I'm going to hit the growth 25. I said, yeah, right. Let's set realistic goals. Well, friends, Khan proved me wrong. He lost 46 pounds, became a Ruby director, he became my first gold director, and he lost so much weight. This is the picture of Khan now. My brother became my first goal director. Now, how many of you like that six pack? Remember this, it's never too late to be the person you want to be. Yeah. Lesson number four, always treat people right. Always treat people right. What do I mean? Do not just treat people right so that they'll join your USANA business. Don't just treat people right so that you get something in return. Don't treat people right just because they're in high places. You treat everybody right because it's the right thing to do. I've seen so many people, they build these successful businesses and they rank advance in USANA and they make money. But if you don't treat people right, I'm telling you right now, success without fulfillment is failure. People spend their money and they spend their wealth and they try to create happiness. Ultimately, people want to be happy. That's what people want. And they think that riches and they think possessions are going to make them happy. But the scriptures are pretty clear. It says that things from the earth, moth and rust can destroy. So he says to build treasures in heaven, things that will have eternal value. So for me, it's about the next life. So for me, one of my favorite things to do is to give back. And this is a picture of me. For six years in a row, I went to Africa. I went with teammates. And what we did is we went as a group and we collectively served others. To me, the wealth that I was able to generate from USANA, I didn't want to spend on myself, I wanted to spend it on others. So let me ask you this question. If you were a diamond director, what would you do? What would you do with the money? Let me tell you what Dr. Hershek's gonna do. This man right here, Dr. Hershek and his wife Andrea were the Dr. Wentz Vision Award winners this past year. They have decided that they and their family, their four children, are going to move to Honduras for 12 months to serve on the medical missions field for free. Why is he going to do that? He's doing that because that's what makes him happy. What makes him happy is service to others. So if you think that possessions are going to make you happy, you're always going to want more. But if you spend your wealth helping others, I promise you, you will feel fulfillment. Ask yourself this question, what legacy do you want to leave? When you're on your deathbed, 
And your days are coming to an end. And your days have been numbered. That day will come. And when that day comes, are you going to say, I wish I had made more money? Are you going to say that I wish I had had more stars than USANA? No, I guarantee you, I know what you're going to say. You're going to say, I wish I'd helped more people. I wish I'd spent more time with my children. I wish I loved more people. When I was 17 years old, I went to my grandfather's funeral. I sat in my seat and I remember so vividly, there was over 700 people that came to my grandfather's funeral. Somebody came up to the microphone and they grabbed the microphone and they said, I know nobody in the room knows who I am, but Harry Kahn paid for my son to go to college. And we all looked at each other and we said, who is this woman? The reality is, my grandfather helped so many people that I didn't know about, but I remember sitting in the front row watching these people speak. And I said, one day I'm going to have a funeral. And I hope to God that when that day comes, people will say, Jordan Kemper changed my life. Jordan Kemper invested in me. So what about you? What legacy do you want to leave? I'll tell you right now, your time has come. I'm telling you right now, if you don't think you're the right person, you are the answer. You are going to be the solution. And guess what? Today is the day. Friends, USANA is nothing more than a vehicle. It's a vehicle. You are the person that has to go out there and make the changes. You are the person that has to invest in others. And I'll tell you right now, you need to believe in yourself. You need to believe that you're the right person. You need to believe that. So I ask you today, who's going to leave this place and start making a difference in other people's lives? <laughs> who's going to be the right person? Are you the right person? Yeah. Are we with the right company? Yeah. Is today the day? Yeah. Are you going to be the person? Yeah. I'm telling you, friends, we represent the best company in the world, and you are the best people. Thank you, Yusana Philippines, for having us.